Hello everybody, so today I'm gonna to be talking about my faux fur coat collection. I have accumulated quite a lot of fur coats over the time um, just because I'm totally obsessed with them. Reason being, I love fur coats just because they just add a bit of pajazz, a little bit something extra to your outfit. You could be wearing something pretty basic and a fur coat would just add, you know, a bit of glamour, a little bit of, you know, niceness to it, a little bit of edge and also on a night out when you're when you're on a night out and I know let's face it like people just wear dresses and they don't really wear much and it's kind of like if it's cold if you wear a fur coat it's cool because it's still it still holds that glamour it's still it's still nice also it's just it, it reminds me of like the old days like vintage glamour Hollywood glamour whatever I just love them because of all these sort of reasons so without further ado Let's go. This first coat I've had quite some time. I got it last winter. It's one of my favorites because of how many colors are inside of it. It's kind of like a My Little Pony coat. I love it because it's super fluffy and I love that it's like all these different pastel colors. It's very kitsch, I would say. It feels really nice. It's quite fun to wear with like a colorful dress or an outfit that's quite colorful, like a nice big bright t-shirt or something that's, you know, very playful in itself. This is my newest coat of my collection. And I must say, it's one of my favourites. It's just probably the most wearable coat that I have. It's got a very luxurious look to it, and because it's grey, it kind of goes with pretty much everything. I love that it's quite thick, and I love the shape of it. It's super snugly, this one. I think I got it in a larger size on purpose, because I wanted it to be extra snugly and comfortable. This coat is probably the most unusual coat in some respects. It's the most unnatural looking one because the leopard print is white, black and a bluey green colour. And then of course there's the pink collar. This one's from ASOS. I saw it and I couldn't unsee it. I like it because it's a little bit crazy. It's quite thick, I would say. It's one of those that you can't necessarily wear with everything, I'd say. But if you're just generally going for quite an outgoing, kitsch, kind of crazy look, then this is absolutely perfect. This is probably the thinnest coat of them all. It's from Topshop, I got it last year. I wore it around New York, actually, in December. But because it had a heat wave, it was actually perfect because it, I didn't need it to be too warm. But this again is a very like wearable coat. It's perfect for like a night out and it's very easy going at the same time. Um, I like that it's quite thin because, you know, it's good for transition seasons. This one is probably, yeah, it's on probably one of my most favorite coats I've ever owned. I got it in a Topshop sale last year and it's this, this unnatural looking leopard print coat because it's so fluffy. I mean, I don't think there is a leopard on this planet that's quite so fluffy but again it's really great for just throwing on whenever like pop into the shop throw it on it's a it's a throw on coat but it's also super glamorous at the same time so go to Tesco man throw on my big fat leopard print coat it's really really nice I absolutely adore this one this is great for a night out I've worn this so many times at like parties or going out like to the pub or the club and it's, I just love that it's like this cream to pink ombre. For me, it matches like my hair and my general kind of tones that I wear on, on my face and generally, just generally me. I really like that, that it's quite a long, shaggy look fur. Um, again, it makes it look a little trashy in a way, like trashy glamour. I love all that shit, so I'm a big fan of this. 